know tinea capitis is a most uh, common fungal infection, especially in children. It may be inflammatory or non inflammatory. Inflammatory tinea capitis is called mostly carrion and fabus and non inflammatory tinea capitis that is black dot tinea. So, tinea capitis is divided in two types number one is inflammatory tinea capitis that is either carrion or fabus and second one is non inflammatory tinea capitis that is black dot tinea. What is carrion? Carrion is the boggy swelling of the scalp due to tinea capitis. Mostly subspecies of tinea infected the hair follicle of the head. The pathology on the root of the hair infected and it produces the inflammation and soft tissue swelling occur that then there is boggy swelling that is that containing the pus. Sometimes there are, there are few pustule along the boggy swelling of the tinea capitis. It is painful, may be itching, and sometimes it is produce scarring alopecia if untreated. Tinea capitis may be another type that is called fabus. There is crusted yellow dis discoloration of crusted plaque crust within the scalp tissue near the hair follicle and the hair spires within the this crust. Individual patches are sometimes called gray patch. There may be scarring alopecia in this case also and if it is progresses it may be alopecia totally. So, so this is uh, inflammatory types of tinea capitis first one is carrion which produce boggy swelling of the soft tissue of the scalp including the hair follicle. If untreated it produce scarring alopecia. There may be secondary infection also bacterial infection and another one is fabus that is also tinea inflammatory tinea capitis, but there is no boggy swelling like tinea capitis of carrion type here is crust yellow crust forms within the hair follicle and surrounding tissue structure and the, this may also produce scarring alopecia. But here is inflammation is less than carrion. Secondary bacterial infection can occur in this case also. And the other type of tinea capitis that is non inflammatory tinea capitis that is call, called black dot tinea. Here is produce multiple black dot in the alopecic patch. Black dot are produced due to fall of hair just near the scalp. 
চুলটা যখন পড়ে যায় স্কালপের খুব কাছাকাছি তখন ওই জায়গাটায় দূর থেকে দেখলে ব্ল্যাক ডট ডট মনে হয় এই জন্য এটা ব্ল্যাক ডট টিনিয়াও বলা হয় এটা নন ইনফ্লামেটরি টিনিয়া ক্যাপিটিস এবং এখানে ইনফ্লামেশন খুবই মিনিমাম থাকে মেবি ইনফ্লামেশন অ্যাবসেন্ট এবং সামটাইমস ইস প্রডিউস অ্যালোপেশিয়া অলসো হাউ ক্যান ইউ ডায়াগনোসিস দ্য টিনিয়া ক্যাপিটিস ফার্স্ট ওয়ান ইজ ক্লিনিক্যালি ডায়াগনোস সেকেন্ড ওয়ান ইজ স্কিন স্ক্র্যাপিং ফর ফাঙ্গাল মাইক্রোস্কোপি ইন পটাশিয়াম হাইড্রোক্সাইড সলিউশন আমরা নেক্সট উই ক্যান কালচার দ্য পাস অর স্কিন ম্যাটেরিয়াল ইন দ্য সেভরেজ ডেক্সট্রোস আগার মিডিয়া and it put it may time 14 days up to 14 days and last one is urslam examination urslam examination reveals the characteristics color of the tinea capitis within the hair shaft and hair follicle very rarely there may be uh, need skin biopsy for the histopathology to evaluate the skin lesion or to differentiate the other types of malignancy or soft tissue tumor etc from the tinea cavities how can you treat the the patient first one is there must there is systemic antifungal must Syste, systemic antifungal tribinafrin 250 mg daily gaisofalbin old drug that is very much effective drugs but due to some side effects it is absolutely now not available and fluconazole uh, itraconazole may be an another option and fluconazole are the mostly prescribed drugs but that is second line drug complication ki hote pare complication usually scarring alopecia hoy and family tropical along with systemic antifungal drug we should prescribe tropical ketoconazole shampoo topical spray ketoconazole spray or myconazole or itraconazole uh, myconazole or iconazole cream tribinafrin may be a good option for treated tinea cavities both topical and systemic thank you all